Okay. Hi guys, so today we're back, going back to another match video. But today, I realized something. Everyone on the internet, everyone has been talking about this PSNE question over here. So, I mean, I saw it and I was a bit confused. And also, there's some things of the question which like, I don't know why they had to add it in, but they did. Like, for some, they say like, I don't know, like, the, the mass of the coins is 1.134 kg. Like, next thing, like, why we, why we want to find a mess of coins, but they added it in the question anyway, so like, I tried to solve it, but like, I got confused, but now I know the correct way to solve it, so this is how you solve the question. Okay guys, so about this question, right, it's not even like, most, it's not like, like, in, like, immediately math question, it's just how you understand how the question works. It's mainly about your English, how you understand the English, and also how you, how you, how well do you know how to do models. That's all. This is just how the question is. You have to understand models, and you just have to understand the question. That's all. I mean, if, if you're really good at English and model, this can be like a primary three question to you. But like, anyways, let's get right into the video. Helen and Ivan had the same number of coins. Helen had a number of 50 cent coins and 64 20 cent coins. These coins had a mass of 1.134 kg. Ivan had a number of 50 cent coins and 104 20 cent coins. A. Who has more money in coins and by how much? B. Given that each 50 cent coin is 2.7 gram more heavier than a 20 cent coin, what is the mass of Ivan's coins in kilograms? So first, you have to draw a model. So this is how your model will look like. Helen, it will be Helen and her 50 cent and 20 cent coins. And since we know how much uh, 20 cent coins Helen has, we put 64 at 20 cent as it said in the question. And Ivan, she had a certain amount of 50 cent but 104 20 cent over here, right? So we put 104 at the 20 cents. So over here, right, as you see, right, over here, the we're talking about the number of coins. We're not talking about the value of coins. Remember this, guys. This is the number, not the value of coins. So over here, if we draw a dotted line over here, right, we will have the exact same amount of 50 cent coins from Helen and the exact same amount of 20 cent coins from Ivan. And you see, you see over here at the near, there's now an equal amount of 20 cent coins for Helen and Ivan, right? So, since you know that this is now 64, this small little part now is 64, right? Let me just show you. So, you see these, these 20 cent parts over here. We have to make them equal because when you make them equal, you can cancel out and it'll make it more easier. And also, guys, these 50 cents over here, right, are also equal so we can also cancel them out. So, now, we are left with these two amount, the same amount of 20 and 50 cent coins. But you see over here, we put a 40 there. You might be wondering, how do you get the 40? For you to know, right, since Ivan has 104 20 cent coins, and Helen, and since they're both the same right now, right, we can minus away 64 from 104 to get 40. We have the same amount of 40 and 50 cent coins. Since we have, we, since we know there are more 50 cent coins for, I, for Helen, right, that means for A, Helen has more. By how much, right? We can, we can either take 0 0.5 minus 0 0.2 because they are, they are overlapping, right? And then times 40 to it to get $12. Or you can just find the value of the 20 cent coins for Ivan or the value of the 50 cent coins from Helen. And then you minus it to get your answer. A is finished. Now let's go on to B. B is actually a more easier question than A. We are going to go through for B. So for B, right, they say given that each 50 cent coin is 2.7 grams more heavier than a 20 cent coin, what is the mass of Ivan's coins in kilograms? So, right, you, you, have, to con you have to draw the second model. So the, the, the model you just have to complete, you, have to, you, you can use the same model, right, as you use for, step for the first question, right? And then, right, this is how you find the weight of Ivan's coins. So you guys remember that there's a there's the that there, there's forty twenty cent coins and fifty cent coins over here, right? As we make them equal over here, remember, right? So this part is actually very important for us to find the weight of Ivan's coins. If you do not have this part of your in your model, right, it will take you a while to solve it, right? But if you have it, then great because it will be more much more easier to solve it, right? So since you have this forty, right? 
you have to change these 40 to 20 cent coins. But how, right? Well, if you look up in the question, it says 2.7, a 50 cent coin is 2.7 grams more heavier than a, than a 20 cent coin. So, right, what do you have to do, right? You have to take, you have to take 1,134 grams, means the, the weight of Helen, right? Minus 2.7 times 40, because since that's 40, right? 50 cent coins, right? Then, once you do 2.7 times 40, you will get 108, right? So now you take 1,134 minus the 108, right? Which makes them, which equals to the Ivan's weight, right? Which equals to 1.026 kilograms. Well, actually, you get 1,026 kilo. You, you get 1,026 grams. But you have to convert, they ask for key to answer in kilograms, right? So you have to convert it back to kilograms, which is 1.026 kilograms. So this is how you do the question.